I'm Melissa Chartrand. and I'm here with John Allen, who's the executive director of the Kennedy Museum right here on Main Street, Hyannis. And it's a pleasure to chat with you today. Thank you very much. So Great we're going to gonna talk about it. it. The museum is such a busy place now. It does close a little bit for the winter, but that doesn't mean that you shut down or close, correct? Uh, especially this year. That's we are right. very busy. That's right. So much to talk about. And I do want to talk about what happened this last year and then where you're headed. All right. Excellent. Well, first and foremost, the museum uh, transferred from the Hyannis Area Chamber on May 24th. And from that date through uh, really December 1, we were in high gear. We had uh, several book signing events here. We had a major uh, event with uh, a boat called the Honey Fitz right. that came up and we had uh, folks who came and joined us. We had a chance to be at the home of uh, Ted and Kiki Kennedy in the end of August. And more importantly, we had an opportunity to have a, a very special day for Hyannis with the 50th anniversary of the death of President Kennedy. We had a press conference here. There was a wreath ceremony at the, at the memorial. We had almost 150 people here at our news conference, several live television. And then we had a mass uh, commemorating his, where he loved to go and pray at St. Francis with about 700 people. Right. So. We, we talked about that, that it's so important that this is such a special spot and a special museum for so many people and what those connections are to the Kennedy family and why it, they like to come and be here. Well, you know, it's, I've, I've learned, uh, having spent the time in the, in the exhibit area this past five months, several things. One, those who were alive then, this, this, is, a, this is a connection that is so fresh that John Kennedy is still 46 years old. He, doesn't, he hasn't aged one bit in anyone's mind. Uh, secondly, that this is a time in their life that they, they feel won't ever be here again. And the, the reality is it meant so much and they are so committed to it that they, keep, they find ways to keep it fresh. Sure. So what they come here, they come here to tell a story. They want to tell what's on their mind and, and if they're not from the time when he was alive, they heard it from their grandparents or their parents. And they know, they remember where their parents were. And obviously then there's a the generation like yourself who next down on that in the 30. So the, the beauty is people come here because this is a connection to an important part of their, right. of their memory. And to have it fresh and frankly to give a perspective that they don't see and that's the Cape Cod perspective. We also talked about where you're headed with the museum and talking about that and those generations because you have um, very interesting visitors that come here age range wise and what happens to the, what your plans are for the visitors and we talked about the audio recordings and right. those types of things and then your plans to reach that younger 40s, 30s, 20s and teens and you have some very exciting things yeah, coming Yeah, thank up. you. No, I think, well, first of all, I, I feel that we can bring through cultural events that we want to bring people who live on the Cape right. uh, and some of the youth programs for the kids uh, and the schools in Cape and Islands, that we can bring relevant uh, content and uh, uh, programs that will be worth their time coming here. It's going to connect them with that information. It's going to give them, more importantly, the sense of history that took place here where we live and the legacy that the Kennedy family represents on a lot of levels, including public service uh, to, uh, to others. And I think the other part is that there is enough uh, relevant data and material that this, this could be something they can build out and, and see that it is an important connection that they should learn more about or an area they should learn more about. I do think that the, the reality is people who come here, and I've heard this from different visitors, they feel that John Kennedy is alive in, in Hyannis, that there, this is such a fresh memory. So can we improve the economic impact we bring? I feel we can. Absolutely. And can we really bring uh, new ideas and new material here that will, will frankly keep us on a national basis, you know, a destination point for the pay, sure. Cape? I think we can. And more importantly, I, I really feel we can add some dynamic in our exhibit area when we do a reno renovation. We'll have new items here. We'll have uh, exhibits where there's engagement and chance to 
kind of have a more contemporary display, right? Uh, but more importantly, have a, a greater customer experience or visitor experience, right? And preserving that history. And let's talk about one of those displays that's coming in in the new year this year, which is the heart and home of the Kennedy family. Well, that's uh, it's going to be Cape Cod, the heart and home of the Kennedy family. And what it will allow us to do uh, is respond to the question that is the reason this museum is here. Where do I get to the compound? Where is the compound? Well, we're going to bring the main house of the compound here. And people will be through different video and, uh, and display and artifacts be able to have a sense of what it was like to be in the home or around the home, out, you know, out uh, playing games in the front lawn, sailing uh, with the president uh, out in his uh, Victoria in the sound and the whole issue of, of family time of the, and some of probably the sad times of the Kennedy family that we can bring to others and have them feel like they have been in the main house and had the, that experience that is so much the home of the Kennedy family. Sure. And that, tell me a little bit about the Youth Speaker Series. Well, we're excited on this. I, there's no doubt that the, the opportunity is not only just from the educational side to bring a richer a dialogue with young people on the Cape and Islands and, and visitors is that we can, we can bring uh, cultural activities to them and youth docents and youth interns and youth programs here throughout the year that will keep us connected to what is important for them to understand how to learn about President Kennedy and the Kennedy legacy, but also how they can become personally engaged and learn about it. I, That's critical. That is critical. Critical. We have a, a planned uh, program starting, see, it's going to be the last week of April, the first week of May, of a, an event probably at Barnesville High School, where we'll have a, a well-known individual who's uh, uh, fresh into a, a national office who has a, a legacy of, of uh, service, uh, family service to public life and, and commitment to it. And, and use that as a way to send a message to the young people that public service is something to be really understood and maybe tried out. And I, I personally like that side of it. And more importantly is to get people who understand that they can become engaged in public service, supporting people or on initiatives. But I do feel the, the last part of that, Melissa, is when you have the youth here, you get the parents as well. So we can then have the parents come here right. and show them why they should be spending more time here. We're helping their children. And basically, we're also bringing them some valuable resources and exhibits and activities. Yeah, it's all so exciting. Now, let's um, before we go, let's just give our viewers where they can get more information or perhaps sure. some of our viewers want to be involved and find out about the Speaker Series program, sure. the teen docents, and even adults you're looking for docents. Well, I, I would love to have anybody drop. We've got uh, the JFK INS Museum .org. Great. And uh, we're adding more and more content there. We're going to be making our social media more uh, more engaging and more active, both on the incoming side, but also on the outgoing side. But we certainly would love to have individuals who would love to be a volunteer or a docent to, to, to let me know. To contact you, let absolutely. Uh, secondly, we'd, we'd love to have people who have some stories about uh, John Kennedy or the Kennedy legacy or some of the history here that they want to share because part of this, and I share this with you, is we have to capture some of the information and content in people's minds that, that live through it. And then we can share that. We have the medium here to share that either you know, through an event or through an exhibit to, to do that or put it into a program. And I think the last part is the, the more we keep doing, I also feel we make the Cape a, a better place to live, work, and raise a family if you've got a relevant museum that's doing all of this. And, and I, we're only one little piece of a big puzzle uh, but I think we have an important opportunity to, to go for it. Yes, very well said. So, right. John, thank you so You're much welcome. for your thank time. You. For John Allen, I'm Melissa Chartrand, wishing you an artful day. Mm -hmm.